Hey, Earth Angels. Thanks for stopping by Born of the Rose. Happy Hump Day to you. Happy Spring Equinox to you. Both happening. It's Wednesday and we just had the Spring Equinox. Spring has sprung. Vernal Equinox, really. But here in the United States, we call it Spring Equinox. <laughs> just, I can't help but pick on where I live sometimes. Whew. Wow. Energies are uh, flowing. Everything's going. New world, new life. Spring. Yeah. Ah. Spirit guides and ancestors. Spirits of nature. Spirits of water, of the wood, of air. Please be with me now. Please tap us into the energy of our Earth Angel Collective, of our light workers. 144. Hmm. Hmm. Guard me and guide me as I go within this tarot. Bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Earth Angels for their highest and best unfoldment for their time, this new spring, this now. What is the energies that they're dealing with now? What's coming and then what's coming towards them? Let's look at the overall theme, Spirit. What do we have for an overall theme for our Earth Angels right now in this now time? What is the theme energy that our Earth Angels are working with? Hanged man, a new perspective. The hanged man takes time out and looks at things from a different angle and gains a new perspective on a situation. What more can we say about this hanged man energy? Knight of Wands could be about a person that you're dealing with, could be about a player type energy. Um, you may be getting new perspective on someone that you're interacting with. Or it could be on a passion project. That's the neat thing about the Knight of Wands energy. It is um, it is a fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it's creative. It's inspirational. Yeah. But you also could be dealing with a player in your life, and then that could also be the Knight of Wands. There are, can be many layers this as well. What more can we say about this hanged man energy, spirit? What more can we say about this? Five of wands, competition. You're gaining new perspective on a situation where there's competition happening. Okay. Ah. <sighs> You may be dealing with a player. And uh, whether you're aware of it or not, there may be competition that's happening. Now remember, this is a general reading. If this isn't fitting for you, please don't try to make it fit for you. Uh, don't do that to yourself. It's not worth it. Spirit, what energies are coming towards our Earth Angel Collective in this now moment? What's coming towards them? You got full energy coming towards you, a new beginning an offering or an opportunity to leave the past behind you and step in to the now. It's fantastic. What else can we say about what's coming towards our Earth Angel Collective in this now time? The Chariot, both major arcanas. Okay, so there is definitely something coming towards you. Someone coming, wanting a new beginning. Um, this is the fastest moving energy in the deck of tarot. So what's happening is happening quickly. Spirit, is there anything more we can say about this fool energy that's coming towards our Earth Angel Collective? What more can we say about this? And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it's a magic time for you, my friends. This is a magic time. There's a new beginning. It's happening fast. And it is divinely guided. You've been manifesting this. 
The wheel is turning and your good karma is paying out. Yeah. <laughs> Earth Angels, that is, that's really cool stuff. I dig that. Spirit, is there any uh, potential crossing energies here that our Earth Angels need to be aware of? Is there anything that's potentially crossing our Earth Angels in this time? Devil wanted to show his face. Potentially a Knight of Pen or a King of Pentacles. Um, this is Earth sign energy, so um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, masculine. Could be a female operating from her masculine. Um, or this could be something around your financial stability as a crossing energy. Spirit, what more can we say about this um, King of Pentacles energy that's potentially crossing our Earth Angels? High Priestess. The High Priestess knows but doesn't always say. The High Priestess is very intuitive. This is Venus energy. This is Goddess energy. Okay, so it may be a feminine that you have financial ties to. There's another thing I'm seeing there with that. Spirit, what more can we say about this? And someone that you feel a connection with. If you have someone that you feel either is a past life person or is someone from your past, um, and you have a, you know, a resources sharing relationship with them, they potentially could be crossing this new energy. So just be mindful of that. That's going to be a potential challenge point for you. Something to navigate or to negotiate for yourself. <sighs> spirit, what is Spirit doing behind the scenes to help the Earth Angels through this situation, through this energy? Three of Pentacles, bringing in collaborations for you. Spirit is working with you to bring these things into the physical world. Anything else, Spirit, that you want to say that you're doing behind the scenes, behind the veil, off stage left, preparing the stage for the Earth Angels? Four of Cups. Sacral Chakra energy pouring into the one large cup. Hmm. Four of Cups is a very stable energy, emotionally speaking. It's not new, it's not old. So maybe spirit is stabilizing the other connections around you. Usually, you say, I, usually I call the Four of Cups the meh card. You want this? Meh. You excited about that? Meh. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of a disinterest type card. Spirit may be helping to clear some distractions for you. Just ask. Ask your spirit guides for assistance. They will help the best that they can. Any other actions that spirit's doing um, to help the earth angels out right now, spirit? What do we got? Eight of swords. This is caught in the head, caught in the thought. Lost in the thoughts. It's also a stable energy, though. You can clear the negative thoughts Easily. With a shift of perspective like the hangman. Hmm. Very cool. Spirit, what advice do you have for our earth angels at this now time? What advice do you have for our earth angels? Knight of Swords, speak your truth, speak clearly. The Knight of Swords is one of the fastest moving energies in the deck. And this one, this cougar has their sword drawn they're ready to cut some things out of their life that you know that meh they aren't really fitting their new paradigm don't be afraid to cut people off that aren't feeling right for you earth angels any other advice spirit and let that shit go ten of swords put an end to the pain if you feel you're being betrayed by someone, end it. 
walk away. If things are, if you are overly accommodating to a situation, don't. End the situation, move on. Pull the swords from your heart. If something, yeah, if you're in a situation that's hurting you, get yourself free. That's that knight of swords energy. That's speak your truth. Okay, spirit, any last advice you have for the earth angels? Let the tower fall. Let's see that Scorpio energy here. The tower card is a symbol that something's built on a faulty foundation and you need to let that go. Let that tower fall. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to change. Change is the only constant that we actually have here. It's a thing. It's a reality. If there's anything that's real anyway. Well, Earth Angels, that's what I have for you today. Happy spring to you. Happy hump day. I'm really glad you stopped by. If you liked the video, likey likey button, please. Um, drop some comments down below. Let me know. And also... If you're new, you like this type of reading, click subscribe. It's free. Anyway, from my heart to yours, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you peace. Thanks for being here, Earth Angels. See you soon.